Hi everyone, it's Kiri here for Bramble Fox and for this layout I am using some of the fab new September releases. The September Fox Box, the Travel Globes and the Pastel Hearts. So um, with the layout uh, you can see I've got a number of the fab uh, perspectives there over on the left. I don't use all of them and I do add some of those really cute pastel hearts to the layout. Um, I'm just working out here, I'm just cutting some strips of this um, pattern paper here because I'm going to use these in a corner, layered corner effect on my um, white cardstock. And you can see here I'm just having a bit of a play working out um, which element, um, which part of the paper I'm going to cut to use as the corner and then I'm going to start layering up those strips. So <clears throat> I'm just marking it here. It's really pretty pattern paper with all the sort of pinks um, and well I stuck to mainly the sort of pinks and the sort of orangey tones with this one. Um, because I'm going to use some photos from a holiday we had a number of years back. So I'm just distressing the edge of the corner strip and just working out in what order I'm going to start to layer them down. So I'll get this one stuck. I, sorry about the head, that does appear in the, in the um, video a number of times as I'm looking over just to make sure I've got it all spot on. Okay, so layering up the strips um, um, under that corner triangle piece of course just remembering that I needed to distress the edge first and then getting that stuck down and I'll do that with all of the strips and there we go all done. Um, I used different um, widths of strips because I didn't want them to all be totally even just to add a bit of difference and then here I'm just working out on the corner the opposite corner um, which part I'm going to do which as if by magic it's all done and here I am just lifting up the edges. I just wonder I have any nails left because I'm so bad that I do this with my nails but anyway um, <clears throat> there we go just adds that little bit extra texture and I'm pulling in the two photos that I'm going to use and then I'm bringing in those um, perspectives and just sort of placing them and figuring out where they're going to go so the best life is from the September Fox Box uh, monthly subscription and then I've got a couple of the globes from the travel globe set um, which is fab actually because it comes in three different colors these are the blush colour that I'm using. Um, they're sort of a soft pink, but there's also a denim, which is a deeper blue, and a powder blue. So they're really so you've got a real choice there in the travel globe set. So I've got a couple of the globes there. Um, one at the top that says hello, and then the one at the bottom that is like a world, and there's actually you can't really see it on their little a uh, little plane. Um, going across the world and then I've got that love stamp that I've just tucked in there up at the top and that also comes from the September Fox box. Um, here I'm just obviously working out which pattern paper I'm going to mount my two photos on and I picked this um, really um, sort of geometric pinky uh, orangey tone um, design because I think that just really lifts them from the background paper so I'm just trimming trimming that up. There's another perspective on there. You'll see it's um, it's got like a heart and it's got the word places on it with the arrow. That doesn't make the cut, actually. I don't use that one in the end, um, but it is lovely. And, uh, and I'm sure that will appear on another layout. Um, so here I'm just um, distressing the edges of the two photos, just working out where I'm going to place them. And then I'm going to pop some of my... Um, sticky back foam onto the top edge and I tend to do this all the time on my layouts keep the bottom edge flat because often that's where you're building up clusters around uh, around the sort of bottom edge so I do keep that flatter and then top edge keep it um, stick it with the foam sticky back foam um, just to lift it and again it's just about dimension which I do like to add on uh, my layout okay Right, so I'm just now starting to, now the photos are down, I'm just sort of moving things around. I've got these layered flowers, um, just curving the edges. I do move these around quite a lot, can't quite make up my mind. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to make you watch all of that. We're sort of going to move it on a little bit, I think, coming up soon. Um, but yeah, you can see I'm really fiddling around, deciding where they're going. Um, and yep still deciding 
But anyway, here we go. I've moved it on a little bit. Okay, everything's in place. It's not actually stuck down. So I'm going to start getting all the pieces um, stuck down. So these are some of the matching ephemera. And um, I did fussy cut around the wider white border. I tend to find, I don't really like that on a lot of the ephemera you get. So I do tend to fussy cut, cut that away. Um, so I'm just getting that stuck down. I've stuck down that Hello Glow perspective and I've used glossy accents because it gives a really good firm hold. Um, adding a bit of sticky back foam to this little half sun that's just tucked in on, under that top edge of the um, my top photo. And um, then I stick down one of those little cute uh, pastel hearts from one of the it's one of the new September releases. It's a really um, lovely pack of hearts in all pretty pastel colours. So I've added, I've used a few of those on here. Just realised I hadn't fussy cut around this um, sort of coconut cocktail. So I'm just taking off the excess white edge um, before I tuck that in above the flower. Oh, I'm just, um, I'm really getting into the detail now, taking off that middle bit there. Um, just curving it slightly. I don't tend to get every, put everything down flat. I stick it in one and one part of um, the piece so it just sort of lifts up. And then I'm sticking down that other little perspective heart as well, again from the same um, pastel hearts uh, set from the September release. And then just getting these other flowers, the acetate mandala layered on. And um, I sort of we're pretty much we're getting there now and then I'm going to get those that perspective it's um the best life from the September fox box it's in a really lovely gold color oh I'm going to stick the love stamp down again that's a, a a lovely sort of pale pink and that also comes from the September fox box as well so again using the glossy accents here we go just going to get the title um stuck down as well and it's in a really lovely like a gold almost um which was really nice it really complemented um the collection that i'm using here and again sorry about my big head in the photo in the um, video um but i do i'm just really making sure that it's all laid up okay i've now got everything stuck down so i stuck down that bottom cluster with the other globe and the um perspective um pastel heart and i've just decided i'm going to add a few splatters in this um sort of very really soft uh, sort of gold shimmer paint so I'm just covering up my photo I realize it's I need a little bit more water here and just a little bit of um, it just adds a little bit of shimmer around um, around the photos and I'm just using this around and around and over the clusters at the top and in that bottom corner and I think we're almost done that's pretty much it and there we go. There is the final layout. And there's some close-up shots coming um, in a moment. Here you'll see those perspectives. Little hearts and the globes. There you go. Get close-up of that little plane across that um, that uh, heart. Anyway, that's me. It's Kiri for Bramble Fox. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.